have the ability to go get supplies. You didn't have the ability to get firewood. You didn't have the ability. You had to basically get it yourself. Um, you would, and you knew winter was approaching, like right now. It's 45 degrees this morning. Winter's coming. It's going to be cold all winter. Um, you would focus, with regards to firewood, your energy on only two things, cutting wood or sharpening your saw. And that would be it. And you wouldn't just haphazardly say, well, kids, we'll maybe get around to cutting some firewood this, you know, in October or November. You would be absolutely adamant, this is when I'm doing it, and I'm going to make sure I do it because otherwise we're going to freeze. And, and you, you take it with that kind of certainty. So Gary Keller didn't use that analogy. That's one that I use. But he would say, you focus on either lead generation or working on getting better at lead generation. And that is it. It will solve all problems. And um, it, everyone's different of how they'll imp how they'll take that um, those those two two disciplines um, based on their personality. When I got back from that mastermind, I called uh, Chris Heller and uh, Dave Norberg, two people who um, well, Chris Heller uh, arguably has almost no personality. Um, but it's extremely successful. He'll tell you that. But he's very, very successful at what he does. Top 10 team for Keller Williams, many, 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 many years running out of San Diego. I called him, and, and he gave me about an hour of his time to talk. Um, and then Dave Norberg is another agent that does a lot of canceled and expired listings. And I called him and talked to him. And really, I just kind of replicated what they were doing, all the way down to raising the desk in my office, because standing while you're talking on the phone works better than sitting. People just know it. The, the information that we need to be successful in our in, in business is is all there. It's all been done before, and that was kind of one of the things that Gary said. He he understood where these agents were coming from, but he he wasn't getting all worried about it because he'd been there before. He'd been through the mid '80s. He'd been through times when uh, it wasn't easy to make a living in real estate, um, and so. Because you've been through that before, and, and you could say, "Well, this is this is different than that." It is, but it's not. We we, we go through these cycles, and, and life and business is cyclical. And <clears throat> he is always very, 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 very clear about that. Um, and whatever business you're in, um, th that is the, that will be the key to it. It truly will be the key to real estate. Um, and you know, there was a time when new homes were so hot that those agents stood there and just took orders. They didn't have to do lead generation. It came to them. And some of them had poor attitudes and didn't really know how to work. They weren't what I consider true salesmen. They were just order takers. Well, market shift and changed that pretty quickly. Now those people are out of work, most of them. And if they're not out of work, they're scrapping to make a living because the buyers aren't coming in, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, some of us are fortunate enough to have relationships that, are, that involve order taking. When it comes to the, the REO business that I do, that is order taking. I never, ever, ever forget that. It's just like the new home salespeople. It is order taking. It is not true sales. Um, and if it were to shut off for any reason, that would be the end of it. And I would need to. So um, I think it's important that whatever your vision is, whether, whether you've allocated 20 hours a week to real estate, 40 hours a week to real estate, 50 hours a week to real estate, <clears throat> your vision is 100,000, 200,000, 400,000, whatever it is. That is the route, and the only thing that will change is how much of it are you going to do. If your vision is large, you're going to do more of it. If your vision is relatively small or you don't want to allocate that much time to, to, to real estate, it, it will be less. But it won't change. That is the fundamental route. Um, and like I said, for, for me, that, that brought me some comfort, um, and it, it even does now. Um, I know Randy said one thing. And, uh, and that is my one thing. Um, the only, I, I, maybe this is like one and a half, is um, try to have fun. And you have to almost, you have to really work at it because every freaking transaction these, th these days are a nightmare. They, I mean, it's so rare to have a smooth transaction where, 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 where both parties, you know, uh, a buyer wants to buy and someone wants to sell. That, that should be pretty like, Amicable, we're on the same page. We want to get this accomplished. But every transaction seems like it goes to an arm wrestle, and, and you've got to fight for every little commission, and every $100 HOA transfer fees become like, like the end of the world. That can really have a cumulative effect of affecting your attitude. You, you just feel like, this sucks. And I've heard 
countless agents right now say, I'm not sure I even want to do it anymore. It's just not any fun. The, the thing is, you can choose if you're having fun or not. And, and things like this, and Jim touched on the culture of our office. A, an office that has solid culture, there is more fun being had. There is hall crawls, there is happy hour, there is things like that that can at least bring a breath of fresh air to what is uh, a cumbersome and, and, and inefficient sloppy market that we're in right now.